Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, XCOR files for bankruptcy, B-22 Osprey fleets top 400,000 flight hours, and Gamma third quarter stats released. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson, it's November 15th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. This is a heartbreaker as we are big fans of x Aerospace, which filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy, according to federal court documents filed last week. The 18-year-old company will be liquidated in an effort to satisfy its creditors. According to the court filing, x has assets valued at between $1 and $10 million, against liabilities estimated between $10 and $50 million. The company, which was developing a two-seat suborbital space plane, laid off about half of its employees in 2016, saying it was refocusing its efforts on development of engine technology for United Launch Alliance's reusable ACES upper stage. In the last two years, three of the company's four founders departed the company. CEO Jake Gibson left the company when he was nominated by President Donald Trump to be Deputy Chief Management Officer at the Department of Defense. Gibson was confirmed by the U.S. Senate last Tuesday. x laid off its remaining employees shortly after Gibson's departure. About half were hired back as contractors as Interim CEO Michael Blum sought new investors. Those layoffs were the result of the company losing the ULA contract, Gibson later said. After the break, UK Airport cancels a 2018 air show. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. When the Skylive Air Show returned to Durham Tees Valley Airport near Darlington in the northeastern portion of the UK in 2016, following a 26-year hiatus, organizers signed a five-year contract for the show. Now, airport officials have exercised an escape clause in the contract after staging the event for only two years, saying they are not in a position to cover the cost of the event. A spokesman for DVTA cited rising costs from safety requirements imposed by the CAA. Aero News has learned of the passing of our friend, Alaska attorney Robert Hall Wagstaff, who was also well known in the aviation community both in Alaska and nationwide. Wagstaff also began flying in 1967 with ratings in single and multi-engine aircraft, seaplanes, helicopters, and jets. Wagstaff served as president of the U.S. Aerobatic Foundation for eight years. EASA has granted certification to Bell Helicopter for the Bell 505 Jet Ranger X. Patrick Moulet, Executive VP Commercial Sales and Marketing, noted that our mission with the Bell 505 was to reclaim the short single light market while honoring the Jet Ranger legacy, and the phenomenal customer response is evidence we are on track. The Bell 505 has received certification from the civil certification authorities in the United States, Australia, Chile, Guatemala, Indonesia, Mexico, New Zealand, Peru, South Korea, Argentina, and most recently Japan. 
Northrop Grumman has delivered the first operational MQ-4C Triton aircraft to the U.S. Navy facility at Point Magoo. Northrop Grumman is expected to deliver the second operational Triton aircraft later this year. Naval Base Ventura County, Point Magoo, is home to the maintenance detachment of Unmanned Patrol Squadron 19. Maintainers will prepare the first two operational Triton aircraft for its employment to Guam scheduled next year. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Bell Helicopter and Boeing have marked a milestone for the Bell Boeing V-22 fleet of tilt rotor aircraft, including both CV-22 and MV-22 variants. The aircraft has surpassed 400,000 flight hours. The V-22 Osprey has been continuously deployed since entering service in 2007, with the U.S. Marine Corps and the Air Force Special Operations Command in 2009. The aircraft has seen extensive action in Afghanistan as part of Operation Enduring Freedom, in Iraq as part of Operation Iraqi Freedom, and as part of the U.S. Central Command Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force, supporting a long-range Rapid Reaction and Crisis Response Force. The MV-22B Osprey is operating all around the globe today, transforming the way the Marine Corps conducts assault support humanitarian relief operations, and the broad spectrum of MAGTF missions. After these messages, Gamma Third Quarter stats released. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Teros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. Gamma has published the 2017 third quarter shipment and billings for GA aircraft. General aviation airplane shipments increased by 1.7 percent, and rotorcraft shipments increased by 7.7 percent year-to-date. Airplane billings, however, declined slightly to $13.2 billion, a 2.8 percent decrease over 2016, while rotorcraft billings increased by 8.8 percent to $2.7 billion. The third quarter shipment and billing numbers continue a similar pattern for the industry this year. Mixed with some bright spots that continue trending upward, particularly in the rotorcraft market, said Gamma President and CEO Pete Bunce. We've been very focused on streamlining certification and validation processes around the world, which will help our member companies continue bringing new and safer products to the market, and hopefully spur growth in future quarters. Continued momentum in the rotorcraft segment resulted in an increase in piston helicopter shipments from 168 to 190 units, a 13.1 percent increase in the first nine months of 2017 compared to last year. Turbine helicopter shipments increased by 5.6 percent to 471 units. Piston airplane shipment increased by 4 percent to 724 units compared to 696 in 2016. The industry shipped 434 business jets, a 1.4 increase in the first nine months of the year. Turboprop shipments declined slightly from 382 to 374 airplanes shipped, a 2.1 percent decline. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.